Well, good morning, Crossroads. If you're tuning in with us this morning, you're looking live in Cordero. Another nice and humid morning out there right now, sitting at 74 degrees, a little bit more humid yesterday than yesterday because we had Francine sending us some humidity, sitting at 95% right now, but we're not really expecting any fog out there because we still got lots of mixing with Francine nearby. So you might maybe see, if anything, a little bit of dew in your windshield this morning. But looking at your future quads and radar for today, I've actually bumped rain chances down today to 10%. So if you see a shower today, you would happen to be very, very lucky. And you should also go gamble in Vegas for sure. But looking at your future quads and radar for today the best shot for any rain today i think if you do see any it's going to be the late late afternoon sometime after 2 or 3 p.m and if you do i think it's going to be like between one to four showers if anything isolated out there today before that decreases back to partly cloudy sky is overnight and then we got a sunny sunny day tomorrow with zero percent rain chances for tomorrow but with a nice nice cloudy sky or partly cloudy skies in the area today that's going to ensue with nice nice warm temperatures not super hot not super hot just yet i'm thinking about 91 here in victoria northwestern counties y'all might see a degree or two warmer than that but i bet you're all also thinking it's going to be a bit breezy today with Francine nearby. Well, actually, no. Francine's a little bit further east than we were thinking, actually. That's going to bring some gusts up to between 15 to 20 mile an hour for today. But there is a little bit of bad news. That's going to be the pollen. Pollen's going to be a little bit high in some areas. High grass pollen and moderate ragweed. So make sure you take an allergy pill for that. And your UV index, that's going to be very high. So if you have sensitive skin, put on some sunscreen. But for the rest of this week, we're going to be only heating up back to the mid and upper 90s. Uh, coming up next, we're going to take a look at the tropics and what else is going on out there.